What's up everyone? Today I am still at Sylvan Abbey Cemetery. I have another special grave to take you guys to. Um, I just left Warren Casey's grave. So if you did not see that video, go back and watch that video. Um, right now I am taking you guys over to Terry Shivo's grave. Um, there's a story on that grave. I'll read it when we get over there. Let's do this. She is on not this lake, but the, there's another lake. She's on the other side of the second lake. So that's where we're headed. Um, we got to go up here. Look at some of these tombstones. This is beautiful up in here. Really beautiful. They, they got porta potties out. Um, I guess for the weekend. In case somebody has to go to the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Look at these mausoleums. Alright guys. Look at all these mausoleums across the front. I think I've stopped at them before. Let me... There's one right here. Look at that. Three stories high. Only oh they got doorbells. And yeah, come push the doorbells. There's doorbells. <laughs> Something gonna happen. It's not really doorbells, but nothing happened on that one. <laughs> doorbells. Snacks. Snacks? Yeah. Oh wow. Look at these up here. Look at this one here. Oh, this is open. I guess maybe they unlocked it for the family. Solid granite. There's that dog. There's the dog. There's the dog. There's the dog that when we come here at night, we think is real. I thought this thing was real so many times and I thought it disappeared. Maybe it is a ghost dog. Maybe that oh, his legs broke. Dog. That is the dog that we see when we come here at night. And I'm telling you, I think there's a ghost dog in this cemetery too though. I definitely do. Um, this grave right here is open. I didn't want to go in with those workers riding by. Um, and like I said, maybe they unlocked it for, in case the loved ones wanted to. Wait a minute, there's no, oh, these are empty. This isn't, if you want to come buy it, come buy it. Look, more doorbells. This is completely empty. It's probably for sale for six people. Oh wow, I bet it's, I bet it's expensive. Look, and you guys would be able to look inside. That's just plexiglass. It's weird. Nobody's even buried in here. Imagine being just locked in that. It would be cool, though. It would be it's cool. Expensive. Yeah, I bet it is expensive. No, it's plexiglass. No name. That's so. It's just a sample. Now those down there have names. All right, guys, we are going over to Terry's grave. Let's do this. All right, everyone, Terry's around this lake right here. Now, I never walked down in here. I don't think I've ever walked down in here, even all the times that I've made videos here. Oh, that's that other mausoleum that we made a video at. Oh. It's right by this lake. I didn't realize that. All right. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. Well, her husband got her a beautiful place to be buried. This is really pretty. This whole place looks really expensive to be buried at. 
Look at this, guys. Now, it shows her on this side, probably right up in here somewhere. Um, it shows her on that side of the lake, on the picture. Let me show you guys the picture. Let me find it. Okay. So, I don't know what you're seeing, but you see the first lake was where I made the video last, uh, the last video. And then she's on the other side of this lake. So it shows her like right in front of us somewhere over there. There's a picture of it. Um, yeah. Oh, there's a picture of her grave. It's pretty. All right. So look at this little deck. It is. Huh. Let's walk along the deck. But it does show her on the other side. Oh, look. These must all be cremations over here. Maybe all these around the lake are cremations, because I believe that, that Terry was cremated too. Look how low the water is. And you definitely have to look out for alligators. It does stink. But boy, is it pretty down in here. She's got to be one of these just right up in here. <clears throat> Let me set up here, because it might not have a shade over there. Let me t tell you guys the story. All right, everyone. So we are fixing to go check out Terry's grave. We're going to find our way up there. I wanted to read you a little bit of the story. All right. So many of you might have already looked her up. Her name was Terry Shivo. She was a 41-year-old Florida woman who was in a persistent vegetative state for 15 years before her death on March 20, 31st, 2005. So on February 25th, 1990, at age 26, Shivo went into cardiac arrest at her home in St. Petersburg. She was success, successfully resuscitated, but had massive brain damage due to lack of oxygen to her brain and was left comatose. After two and a half months without improvement, her diagnosis was changed to persistent vegetative state. Um, it says, for the next two years, doctors attempted occupational therapy, speech therapy, physical therapy, and other experimental therapies, hoping to return her to a state of awareness without success. In 1998, Shivo's husband petitioned the Sixth, court, Sixth Circuit Court of Florida to remove her feeding tubes. Um, I guess he said that she would not have wanted to live like this. And um, so he petitioned the court to remove the tubes. He was opposed by Terry's parents. Um, the court determined that Shivo would not have wished to continue prolonged life measures. And on April 24th, 2001, her feeding tube was removed for the first time, only to be reinserted several days later on the 25th. Um, a Pinellas County judge again ordered the removal of Terry Shivo's feeding tube. Um, her husband petitioned the court for her right to die, um, said his, you know, his wife would not have wanted to live like that um, in a vegetated state. She would not have wanted to live that way. So he petitioned the court for right to die, and um, I believe he won the case, but I believe she, she might have died first. You guys will have to read up more on the story. Um, Pinellas Park Hospice Facility disconnected the feeding tube on March 18th in 2005, and Shivo died on March 31st in 2005. She was cremated. Um, it did say, which was really sad, it did say that her parents um, were were not notified of her burial here until after she was already buried buried so her parents didn't even get to come to her um to her funeral services that was really sad but her ashes are buried here and we are going to go find her grave and um you guys can read the rest of the story on on this case um it's a sad story it really is but we watched some videos last night i was i was looking up stuff about it about the story I've been wanting to do this story for a long time. Stephanie, my friend Stephanie had told me about it, golly, years ago. And um, I just never got down here to do it. Um, so 
I'm glad that I made it here and we're gonna go try to find the grave and see what we can what kind of you know maybe we can get some something on the spirit box maybe she'll say something maybe she'll say she didn't want to live like that or I don't know but you guys can watch all the videos online there's multiple videos online of her and her parents talking to her and her family talking to her um, it's sad and it was you know you could hear her laughing and, and a couple of them and it was you know sad and happy at the same time um, my sympathy goes out to the parents and to the husband I mean no disrespect coming here um, but she I think Terry's law now is like the rights to die or something like that I'm not positive don't quote me on that let's go find her grave All right. So it's got to be right here. Possibly one of these here. But I know she's on this side of the lake. Let's just hope that we can move fast enough if, if an alligator comes up. Guys, I watched a video not long ago. They didn't show the whole thing. They showed this lady, this old lady, and she lived in a trailer park and she was walking her dog. And, and you could see the dog was close to the water and the alligator came up to get the dog but the lady had turned around and pulled the dog she didn't see the alligator she pulled the dog the dog ended up you know getting in front of her and the alligator got the lady and pulled the lady back in the water and, and she died it was pretty bad pretty bad um, they did catch capture the alligator and kill it but um, you know I guess it shouldn't have been you know if they get too big or they're aggressive they should definitely be taken out and killed anyways let's see maybe I don't know if we needed to be up there it might have been maybe we needed to be up there oh goodness yeah Henry hop up there and give me a hand I don't I you know what if it is one of these it might be one of these but I'm thinking it might be up in one of these holes we can look Ready? down I guess no go there you go all right yeah I feel safer up here than I do down there by the water <laughs> See, oh look, see I want a private little spot like this. Yeah, that's nice. There it is, it's empty. It's too far from home. See, we missed it though. It could be one of these graves, Henriette. We'll have to go down and around. I think she had a hedge behind her. Alright, then maybe it's this maybe it's one of these two up here. Look at that. This is like a whole family. Yeah. Because it looks like there's probably one, two, three, four. Probably a whole bunch of them. I buy a whole family pot. All right, so Henriette said the pitcher said she had a hedge. That's why I was thinking she was up in one of these. There she is. Oh, goodness. Yeah, All right, guys. She's watch. right here. Right here. Hi, Terry. Hi, Terry. Oh. I hope you're resting in peace. I brought you some flowers. Oops, let me, yeah, be careful. Oh, push that dirt down in there. All right, so there is the grave. Terry Shivo. Now, I had this this from a package from a long time ago, and I know that um, I brought it down for actually for my sister Linda and my mama's grave, but I had extra. So I'm gonna put this little flower in Terry's grave, but I'm putting it, all this styrofoam in hers. In she has styrofoam, okay. Well, hers ain't gonna fall out anyways then. So we'll take this styrofoam back with us. Okay. So Terry, we come in peace. We hope you're resting in peace. I wanna turn on my spirit box and I want to see if we can get some answers to some questions. Um, if you would have wanted to stay alive in the vegetated state for 15 years or if you wouldn't have when I think about myself right now guys I mean you know if it looks like there's hope I mean I do want to be kept alive for at least a little while um, but if it doesn't look like there's any hope I don't I guess I wouldn't want to be kept alive um, maybe you know she was kept alive 15 years but um, you know when her parents would be would ask her questions she was like it was like she was definitely there. Um, 
she, the way her responses were. Make sure you guys go online and check that out. One of the videos, her dad said, do you remember that? And she goes, yeah. Uh -huh. So she understood. Yep. All right. So um, I'm just going to turn on the spirit box for now. And we will see if we get any, any answers. I don't know if anybody's ever done spirit box here. All right. It's going backwards now. Hi, Terry. My name is Marie. I was reading about your story. And I was reading about the, the, the Bill of Rights, the rights to die. You were kept alive for 15 years on life support. Is that something you wanted? While you were uh, on life support being kept alive, was you aware of everything that was going on? Tell me your husband's name. that you did not want to live in a vegetated state if something happened? Keep his promise to you. When your dad was talking to you in one of those videos and you said yes, was you aware of what he was actually saying to you?
feeding tube removed. Did you tell us if you wanted to live that way? Thank you for talking with us. Bye. Thank you for talking with us, Terry. Let me set the rim pod out and see if Terry would touch the rim pod. Oh, I got to get my energy off of it. Let's keep my energy off of it for a minute. There it goes. Maybe she does like it. Terry, is that you touching the REM pod? It won't hurt you. Can you let go for a minute? I feel like I wanted my energy to be off of it completely. Oh, she let go though for a second. Thank you for touching it. Th thank you. Let go for a second again. There she goes. Oh, thank you, Terry. I hope you're resting in peace. Well, I think she likes that. What do you guys think? She must definitely like that. She's probably never seen one before. It's like a toy. Mm. <laughs> All right, Terry, I'm going to reset it. I'm going to move it. All right, you can touch it anytime you want now. Don't get mad that I moved it. <laughs> Terry, can you touch it now? I just like to be sure that it's um actually There it is. I was going to say I, I just like to be sure that it's actually spirit touching it hello can you whisper in my camera thank you for touching the rim pod can you let go for a minute I heard something. Are you right here with us, Terry? All right, I'm going to take the REM pod away. All the colors are going off, guys. Terry, can you whisper in my camera? Look at the tombstone. It says... She was born December 3rd. That's when my daddy died and Tyler's mom died. 
um, departed this earth February 25th, 1990. At peace. Oh, she departed the earth. So the day she collapsed, I guess her husband, I guess he feels like that's the day that she left this earth. Um, February 25th, 1990. She was at peace at March 31st, 2005. That is the day she actually died. Oh, something got on me. Um, and at the bottom it says, I kept my promise. Aww. Oh, I know. Nice and peace, Terry. I hope you're not in pain anymore. I hope not either. Oh, I'm gonna cry. It's a horrible way to go. All right, every, I don't know if you guys are seeing me. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video, um, The Right to Die. Um, let me know if any of you already knew about the story. If not, look it up, read about it, watch some of the videos that are online of her and her family. Um, it, you know, it's sad and happy at the same time. I love you guys, and um, I will see you on the next video. Peace, guys.